How warm are your new customers? Hi, I'm Brian Pombo. Welcome back to Brian J. Pombo Live. Today I want to talk about the concept of having warm customers. The new ones, ones you haven't met yet. The ones that are coming through the door and actually paying you money. How warm are they? Do you have the type of products that require a little bit of warming up to? Or do you have something that just flies right off the shelf uh, once they know that you have it? You're, you're just, you've got that type of reputation preceding you or that type of demand on your products and services. Or do you have something that, well, there was another example I was thinking of and it, it, it slipped in my mind, but it, the real question is in most cases, especially if you're selling online, in most cases, what you're trying to get out there, what you're trying to exchange for money is going to require a little bit of warming up. So if you're selling your own personal services, if you're selling your brand versus your competitors brands or other people's, you know, you may have endless amounts of competitors if, you're, if your item is enough of a commodity. So what makes you different? What makes you stand out? And how well do you know them? This all comes back to that same idea, that old, that old quote from Bob Berg that said, people do business with people they know, like, and trust. Okay, know, like, and trust. They gotta know you first. They gotta know who you are. They gotta like you. And then they gotta trust you. Trust doesn't happen overnight. It takes a little bit of time. And so there's this concept that's been bandied about. I, I don't know who the first person was to use this term, but it's gotten pretty common. Uh, <clears throat> I think the first person that I officially heard it from was uh, Frank Kern. He mentioned, he, he likes to talk about indoctrination. Indoctrination is basically a, a really fancy way of saying and getting to know people, letting them getting to know you more than more than anything. It's bringing them over to your way of thinking, bringing them over to your point of view, letting them get to know you, like you, and trust you. Okay, another person that brought up, uh, brought up indoctrination is Ryan Dice. This is a great little book. It's not a huge book, and it's very interesting if you're interested in building marketing funnels of any type, Invisible Selling Machine. This was a good one. This was from a few years back, and I had a couple uh, highlighted parts from the last time I went through here, and this is his section on indoctrination. I, I just liked this very simple concept. Uh, it's just the, this string of questions that he has here. Who are you? What do you stand for? Why are you different? What should they expect from you? How often, what should they do next? Simple questions. Each one of those questions could be a different video or string of videos. You could do an entire week on who are you? You know what I mean? <laughs> th th think about it. If Who are you as a company? Who are you as a person? Who's the person behind the brand? Who are you in terms of uh, who are your brands? Who are the other people that you work with? whatever the who is in your line. And this doesn't matter that these concepts, it doesn't matter. I, I've heard a lot of people say, yeah, but I'm, my, my industry is different, you know, or, you know, I'm a, I, I'm a minister and I'm dealing with a church. It's a completely different animal. And I'm telling you, it's not, it's not, it has different aspects to it. That is, that of course, it's, it, it's different on a lot of levels, but in generalities, people are people in principle, people are people. And believe it or not, a lot of people choose the churches they go to like they choose the shampoo that they use in their hair. It's, it's similar. It's very, it's eerily similar. It, except the churches actually have a whole lot of advantages that, that your shampoo companies don't have. But that's another, another video for another day. The, the same thing's true, though. I'd start them off with, you got to, you have to introduce yourself to your market. There's ways of doing this. Now, if you're if you're in any type of one-on-one -on -one sales, that's simple, that's very basic. That's, you're gonna wanna get in front of somebody and you're gonna wanna learn more about them. And in that process, they're gonna learn more about you. That's a, this, the one-on-one -on -one salesperson has a whole lot of advantages 
that somebody doing long distance marketing doesn't have as much. But the same principle is true. So you ha it has to have the same concept that you are getting to know people. So I mean, same thing's true of these videos. I mean, honestly, I put these a lot of these videos out to get to know you even though I'm not really getting to hear a whole lot back from you. This is a one-way conversation. But in talking about this, I'm able to give you a little bit of my philosophy and really indoctrinate you. I'm indoctrinating you to a certain way of thinking. Hopefully warming the right people up, not everybody, the right people up, to eventually go down the line and eventually maybe someday, some year, whatever, may become a customer. Maybe they'll become, uh, we'll join up in a joint venture together. Maybe we'll do something else together. But it takes, it. Uh, it's like I said before, a few videos back we were talking, a few nights ago, we were talking about daily videos. And one of the main reasons why I saw the need for daily videos is I needed media out there to be able to deliver my message and get to know people when I couldn't be there. So 24 seven, a person could search for my name or search for one of the topics that I talk about and be able to find my videos and be able to talk about it. You can do the same thing. Don't, don't focus on me. I'm saying this for the purpose so that you can see it from your, for yourself. You can do the same thing. There's a way to organize it properly. There's a way to make it run long term, especially if you're anything like me and you're uh, easily thrown off and driven in bit different directions. You got your, you know, if you've got any type of creativity, you're always going to want to be doing something different. There's a way to do these things right. So you got to sit down and talk to somebody and map it out. Don't do it on your own. If you do it on your own, you're going to go through all the same mistakes the rest of us go through the first time. It's not worth it. Save yourself some time. Get to know people who know, who have a little bit of experience with it or know the right questions to ask to lead you in the right direction. So if you're looking for someone like that, I'll give a little pitch for myself. My name is Brian Pombo. I'm a business strategist. You can go check out brianjpombo.com to be able to watch other videos and listen to what I'm talking about to kind of get where I'm coming from to see if it's a good fit for you. And if you think it is, I want you to go sign up for the Amazon Proof Strategy Session. That's over at brianjpombo.com slash Amazon. You can find out more about it there, or you can just search for Amazon Proof Strategy Session. You'll find a whole bunch of videos where I discuss it. Hey, you have a great night. We'll be back here tomorrow. Talk a little bit more about how you can build your business uh, with, with less pain and less money <laughs> and do it uh, using principles, strategies, and tactics to really, uh, to really make things go crazy. It's about time, isn't it? Hey, you have a great night. In the meantime, get out there and let the magic happen.